it's metro, it's Vorobitskaya station, the other side of uh, Bibliotheki Imena Lenina station. You probably remember what I told you last year in the old Hooliganov's Russia series about how the same station, uh, which would simply be called, uh, you know, like in London, you, you could have um, Charing Cross this line, Charing Cross that line, uh, but here in, uh, in Moscow, uh, even the same station has a different name for each line which joins in it. There you got that famous bridge over the Moscow River down there, and the head we got the Church of Christ the Savior. This way you can see the red square in this direction. This bridge over, over the river there. And the head, the Hram Christa Spasitila. Is up there ahead. You can see in the middle now of the shot. There's Moscow written in flowers, Moskva. It is lovely. And I'm going to find the uh, Rika Moskva, the Moscow River. Do you see the, the car entry to the back of the Kremlin? We're going to find the Rika and I'm going to follow the Moskva Rika, but not down to Gorky Park listening to the winds of change because it's a little bit windy tonight, but the changes are going in a different direction right now. Instead of changes winds here in Russia, is more stability in Russia and more change is in the West right now. This is Shilov Gallery. It's obviously closed because it's a night. Nice view up towards the towards the the church of of Christ the Savior up there. Another lovely icon here. In as much as I don't really approve of them, as you know, but as a work of art, of course, is very beautiful. I don't really approve of drawing pictures of Jesus because we don't know what he really looked like, and we told not to to make uh, graven images of the Lord our God. But from a point of view of technique, of course, very pretty. But I personally don't use for my worship. I think it's a misunderstanding to use this. This is flag for Maltese mission here in here in uh, Russia. These are a mission or a, an order of um, of protectors of Catholic Church. They're connected with this uh, St. John's ambulances and other charitable works, and they are of course interested in protecting the Catholic values in society. So, if you like to be Roman Catholic and you want to to protect your values in society, you can see if you can become, if they invite you to join, you can become a knight in this organization. But of course it's not open to public, you have to be invited. You have to be personally respected by the existing knights and invited to join. You can't just turn up on a sun rainy afternoon and say, hey, you look interesting, I think I join. No, it doesn't work that way. Little bit ramshackle this uh, area. Okay, on this side of road, is Pushkin Museum, Государственный музей изобразительных искусств имени А.С. Пушкина. That's what this is. 
Pushkin Museum. You didn't know my cat have his own museum, did you? And here is other part of Pushkin Museum too. Through the trees there. This and this part are all part of it. Museum of paintings and other visual arts. And Pushkin Museum also has this building here. So you got the big one in the middle, that one over there, and this other one over here. It's all in the Pushkin Museum. And now turning around the corner, we see the beautiful side of the Christ the Savior Church. Very, very fine example of Russian architecture, Russian religious architecture. Very fine example. This here next to it is the Glazunov, Ilya Glazunov State Picture Gallery. There you see the bridges on the Moscow River down there. And here through the trees, this fantastic building. You see it in all its splendor. The Strada Theater on the other side of the river from this. We're coming up now closer to river. Okay, so we're looking back on the church, Christ the Savior up there. Down there you might be able to see the little bit, the ship of Peter the Great. Probably you can see better this now. Over the river, we're on the Nabirishnaya, or the bank of the river. There's the side of the hotel I showed you earlier. There's the bridge going over there taking advantage of what creative Vedo says is his advantage for good shots in low light and I think it's actually quite true you can and of course bearing in mind I have to do a lot of my spare time especially in not in the summer is already dark when I'm free from York is a very good thing to have and although the quality is lower than in Panasonic both fact I can take with me very easily very flexible is enabling me to take more than otherwise would take so it's a good for viewers as long as you tolerate slightly lower quality and less because of course i can't take any picture shots is only on uh, videos it's also make it easier in the end for making the post-production because i don't have to do anything more than just add one video to another it's very little editing i do as you probably can tell Anyway, less of production meeting soliloquy. Just look at the beautiful view. 360 degrees on the Nabirajnaya. Nabirajnaya. Oh, little bit of howling of tires there. Somebody tired of driving slowly. So is a militia place which is empty as you can see I'm following the Moskva but away from Gorky Park and listening to the winds but not of change because in Russia is more less change than the West like I said if I wanted to go following the Moskva down to Gorky Park I would have to go this way down there again but I'm independent minded I don't just go following Moskva in particular direction just because Scorpion people tell me to. I got a own head on the shoulders. So, this part of other bank used to be British Embassy one time and from Kremlin they used to uh, be able to use lasers to listen into what was said behind the glass. That was very clever, wasn't it? And then they had to move to a different place. That it was very interesting what used to happen in the 70s 
and it is between these countries, you know, very interesting indeed from the perspective of time. And unfortunately not everything finished with this, still stupid people trying to attack Russia, trying to bring down Russia, envious of the huge natural wealth and resources of this country and the beauty of her women uh, are uh, trying to attack and enslave this nation. And uh, you should be jolly ashamed of yourselves if you're trying to do this to Russia. And you will not win because this is too big for you. Pick the smaller bits and do it to them. You will never have this place. Nobody managed. Not managed Napoleon, not managed Hitler, and neither will manage the President of the United States 44, number 44, or 45, or 46, or 47, 48, 49, 50, or 100, if they last that long. This is Kremlin Tower. This is Kremlin. It's older than what you got. And the wisdom behind is older. And the strength behind is older. Yes, we Russians know what you want to do with us. But you will never be successful. You can give it up. Or just go ahead, try it. And watch how we will make you regret your courses of action. This is Russia. It's not on the same rules as these other places. So, you can fly your Cessnas into Red Square if you want to, but this will, these walls of Kremlin here, they will stand and there's nothing you can do. I'm following the Moskva away from Gorky Park, listening to winds of Russia staying the same. Sigda Takaya. Here it appears from behind the wall the Bashta of the Kremlin. Here is St. Vesel's Cathedral up there. I don't want to go look at it close today because I did it last time. Lit up behind this goom. Unfortunately Vedo shows that is a continual stream of light. But uh, you've seen it all already on the other film I did. Go look at the first series, Hooligans Russia, you'll see it all there. I don't want to repeat today. So, a little bit further on, looking back now on the place we came from, this piece of billboarding there is behind a very large building site, was the biggest hotel in former Soviet Union, thousand rooms, Gastinsa Russia, which they pulled down because it was too old. Now they're going to build something else there. Not sure what they will build, but it's bound to be something fantastic. So looking forward to seeing that another, like a wedding cake 
Stalin style building up there overlooking the Moscow River towards the east. Okay, here is the course of the Moscow River going down there. This bridge over Moscow River going down there is the Garden Ring Bridge on the eastern side of Garden Ring. This river here is Yauza. Yauza, 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 I want to boogie with you. You probably remember this song. Anyway, there's the wedding cake up there and here is where Yauza is going into Moscow River. Strangely, it looks like it's going the opposite direction from Moscow River, but I think it's only the wind moving the surface of water. Should be falling Yauza into Rika Moskva at this point. Actually, I just said something wrong in the last section. Uh, it is not the garden ring, it's the boulevard ring, it's the inner circle uh, ring. So, the, you can say that I came from inner circle on the one side to inner circle on the other side and just walked along the river banks and Abirishnaya uh, in the middle. But the circle continues on the other side of the river too. So I'm going to retrace the steps in a minute to find uh, the Boulevard Nekalso in a second. So it's Yalski Boulevard. I'm back. Oh, very big. I'm back on Boulevard Nekalso. Okay, spent a long time on walk, but it's no problem. Here they eat and drink 24 hours both uh, sushis like this and also anti-sushi so it's yeposha and if you haven't eaten today here is stereotypical Japanese man you can eat in yeposha here this is yeposha and I'm going to eat uh, sushis and some non-sushi items here okay here I am inside yeposha music is not appropriate and far too loud, but it's a good food. That's the menu. I started with the empty sushi. That's obviously it's borscht, but they told me it's a pea soup. Pea soup is cheaper in the menu, so I didn't argue. If I, they want to give me more expensive soup for lower price, up to them. And here is my sushi set and sashimi from salmon sashimi from salmon and the sushi set looks nice doesn't it and it all tastes good 